This is amazing. Mackenzie did exactly what I wanted her to do. Mackenzie's HOH might go down as one of the worst of Big Brother 26, and that's saying a lot with what we've seen so far. But how did the veto comp turn into an unnecessary blindside that probably just sank MJ's game? I hope this is just the most regular week. Regular week. <sighs> yeah. Let's get into episode 32 of Big Brother 26. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We pick up after Mackenzie put Angela and Kimo on the block with Angela as her target. Chelsea really wanted Leah to go up as a nominee, but Mackenzie said she wanted to keep Leah close as an ally and a potential jury vote instead of doing Chelsea's bidding for no reason. Which of course infuriated Chelsea, who I think is kind of pulling an Ainsley and going a little power mad in the house. It's time to go to work, Leah. You should be afraid. Meanwhile, Kimo is nervous sitting next to Angela on the block, because everyone to do that so far has gone home. I mean, she's an intimidating player. <sighs> My hands hurt. Anything can happen with the veto, though, which is why this movie reward competition for the wild robot is extra important this week. Everyone's playing but Rubina, and they're racing through the woods interpreting animal sounds using a soundboard to get them what they want. And this was a struggle. Still, 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 I don't speak animal. In the end, the top three finishers were Chelsea, Mackenzie, and Leah, but it was Mackenzie who pulled out another win. She is such a comp beast. Now this is where things start to take a turn though. Leah tells Rubina that she's nervous Chelsea has influenced Mackenzie this week, and she regrets taking out T-Core on her HOH as opposed to Chelsea. I made like a safe move instead of like a me move. Yeah. Rubina, meanwhile, is like, you just took out my number one. I'm telling Mackenzie you're gunning for Chelsea now. Leah saying that Chelsea needs to go worries me big time because Chelsea is my biggest ally and I do not need people targeting Chelsea. Now, instead of being like, wow, thank you, I certainly am not gunning for the best player in the game who is pressuring me to make moves that really just benefit her, Mackenzie decides to flip on Leah, despite Leah being totally on her side last week. I think you would gain respect of the house and jury making that move. No. This is actually kind of working. I'm finally getting Mackenzie to open her eyes and see what I see. So at the veto meeting, Mackenzie decides to take Kimo off the block and nominate Leah in a totally unnecessary blindside of a possible future jury member. Now, Leah and Angela were obviously shocked by this and super emotional. I truly and honestly had her back. And so did Angela, like more than probably anyone that's left here. Leah regrets going after the wrong trio on her HOH, which is what we were all yelling at our screens last week. I feel like such a moron. I should have done what I planned to do last week. I should have taken them out. And Kimo isn't even on Mackenzie's side after she saved him. In fact, he's going for her now. If I win, I want to target the person who I think has the best chance of winning this game. And that's Mackenzie. She may have taken me off the block, but I did not come here to lose. I think she played right into Chelsea's hands this week. I mean, if this group doesn't take her out in the double eviction, which I don't think they have the wherewithal to do, they might as well hand her the check for 750K now. Is this the best move for Mackenzie's game right now? Uh, I don't know, but it's best for mine. Unless this Ainsley twist is anything, I think this is the double eviction, I don't know. I must be quick. Ainsley could be listening. Trust me when I say you're all in grave danger. Wow, I knew I could count on you guys. To completely betray me. Those messages weren't from Julie. It was me controlling the Chen bot. And what I have learned about you is extremely disappointing. You will all pay the price soon enough. We'll be recapping whatever happens here on this channel though, so make sure you like and subscribe and drop a comment down below. I don't know, am I being dramatic about MJ's chances? Then head over to popculture.com for the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>